Good morning, boys and girls. Today is Tuesday, May 12th, and here's our ELA lesson. All right, let's start with our I can statement. I can decode words with magic E and add endings I-N-G and E-D. What do we need to do to this I can statement, boys and girls. What do we need to do? We need to, say it with me, break it down. Break it down. Say it. I can. Yes, you can. I can decode. What does decode mean, boys and girls? Hmm. Really, right. Sound out or stretch out. Sound out words with magic E. All right, so we learned about magic E earlier in the school year. Hmm. Does anyone remember the magic E rule? Right, when a word ends with the magic E, it gives all of its superpowers to the other vowel and makes the vowel say its name. And that E is And we're going to use magic E words and we're going to add endings. Endings go where? At the end of a word, right? So we have end. So end of a word. And we're going to do ing, 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 and ed, d, d, d. All right, let's read this back together. Already, I can say it with me. I can sound out words with magic E. Remember that magic E gives the other vowel all of its superpowers and makes that vowel say its name. And the E is silent. And add. So I could put our little um, our plus symbol for add on top. We're um add endings ing ing and ed. How do you feel about this, boys and girls? Happy I'm gonna rack it. In the middle, I'm a little nervous about it. Thumbs down. I'm worried magic e words are tricky, endings are tricky, and that's okay too. We're gonna work through this. So here's our I can statement. Alrighty. All right, I'm going to erase our I can statement so I can show you our picture cards. All right, here we go. Ready? We're working with endings ED and ING with magic E words. All right, here we go. Let me show you our pics picture. Hmm. hmm, what do you think this could be a picture of? Needs to be an E D. It's not running. It's not run. Run to not a thing. Not a not a correct word. Mm, this picture is of raced. Raced. So the boys raced. Okay. Put that right there so you can see it. Alright. So the original word, the base word, is race. And I'm gonna write that up here. So we have race, right? Er, ace. That E is silent. Because remember, this is a magic E word that we're going to be working with. And that E gives all of its superpowers to the A and makes A say its name. Okay. And what is A's name? A, right? Okay. So we know this word is race. We've learned the magic E rule. But now, boys and girls, we need to add the ending ED raced race to make it past tense raced i raced to the door yesterday raced so what do we need to do listen listen closely boys and girls ready we need to say bye bye e and add the ending and what is our ending today boys and girls e d so we're gonna say ready do it with me bye bye e right and add the ending and what's our ending e d E, D. All right, so now our word is er. 
aced, raced, say it, raced. Very nice job, boys and girls, raced. All right, ready? I'm gonna give us another one, ready? Let's try, ready? Okay, here's the word. We haven't put an ending on it yet. Let's first decode this magic E word. S A V. S A V. Because remember that E gives all of its powers to the A. It makes A say its name. All right, so we know it's S A V. Save. But we want to add that ending E D. We want to make the word saved. What do we need to do? Say bye bye E and add the ending. And what is the ending we're doing? ED. So we're gonna erase the E and write ED. Saved. Saved. All right, let's try another one. Ready? All right, what's this magic E word? J. O. Or that E gives all of its powers to the O, makes O say its name. So, j o k joke. But I want it to be joked. I joked with Quinn. He's a funny guy. All right, so what do I need to do? I need to say, bye bye E. And add the new ending. And what is the new ending, boys and girls? E D. Right? So now our word is j oaked, joked. Let me make that E a little better for you. Joked. All right, let's try. This one's a little trickier. Ready? Ready? Let's sound this one out. Sm, sm, I, all. Hmm, I, all. That E is silent. It gives its powers to the I and makes I say its name. Hmm, I, all. Smile. Nice job. But I want to add that ending, ED, so it's smiled. What do I need to do? Say, bye bye, E. And add the ending. All right, what's our new word? Hmm, I, old. Smiled. Beautiful job decoding these with me. Love it. Okay. But boys and girls, we aren't only working with the ED ending. What other ending are we working with? It was in our I can segment. <gasps> right. I-N-G. Ing. All right. Here we go. I'm going to move race. I'm going to move our ED. Let me move our, this over a little bit. I'm going to move that picture card over a little bit. And we're gonna start with our ing. Okay, ing ending for magic keywords. Okay, check it out, boys and girls. Hmm, what do you think this could be a picture of? Ing. Hmm. Hmm. Right? Baking. Say it. Baking. Baking. Okay. Yeah. The chef is baking bread. Okay, I'm gonna put our car right about there. All right, you can see that. Okay, All right, you can see that right about there. Okay, so we have baking. I'm gonna write the word bake because we're doing magic e words and now we're adding an ending, right? All right, so here's the word bake. Right? Sound it out with me. B, A, K, bake. Because remember that E gives all of its superpowers to the A and makes A say its name. And what is A's name? A, so it's B, A, K. All right. But we want the word baking, boys and girls. What do we need to do? Ready? Say bye-bye, E, and add the ending. Okay, so we'll say goodbye, E, goodbye, E. And add the ending. We're gonna have I N G. That A is still saying its name, right? So now we have B A K ing baking. 
b a k ing. So even though that e, he's disappeared, we said goodbye to him, we erased him, that a is still saying its name and we add the ending. So it's still a long vowel sound. It's still saying its name. Alrighty, let's try another one, okay? Let's try, ready? Whoa. Here's our magic E word. S A V. Remember that E gives all of its powers to the A. It makes A say its name. So yeah, S A V. Save. But we want it to be saving. What do we need to do, boys and girls? We need to say bye bye E and add the ending. And what is the ending we are working with right now? I N G. and add the ending. Okay, so now our word is saving. Saving, nice job. Saving, saving. Beautiful. All right, let's try another one. Let's do All right, what's our word? Ready? W. I really like my W that much. It's a little messy. Ready? W. A. V. Remember that E gives the A its powers. So what is the word? W. A. V. Wave. Like wave hello. A wave that would you'd see on the beach. The ocean makes waves. Wave. Okay. Wave. Okay. Wave. But we want to be waving. Waving. What do we need to do? Say bye bye e and add the i and g. Add the ending and add the ending. And our ending is i n g. All right. Let's try another one. Ready? A little trickier. Ready? Sm. I o oh, smile. And I want to make smiling. What do I need to do? Right? Bye bye, E, and add the ending. And what's our ending? I N G. So when we have a word that is a magic E word that ends with an E, makes that vowel say its name, we need to make sure we remember say goodbye to that E and add the ending. Okay. And our new word is hmm. I ling. Smiling. Nice job. All right, how do we feel about this, boys and girls? Feeling all right? Happy I can rock it on my own. And then I'm a little shaky still on it. Thumbs down. Very nervous, very confused. All right, let's try one more. All right, ready? Here. All right, what's this magic E word? J. Oak. Joke. Nice job. So now we want to make joking. What do we need to say? Bye bye, E, and add the ending. And what is our ending? I N G. Nice job. So now our word is joking. Joking. Beautiful job, boys and girls. Really nice job. Okie dokie. Going to erase my words. And I'll move my picture cards over so you can see them both because we learned endings ED, like in raced, and ending ING, like in baking. Both of those words are magic E words, so we had to say bye bye E and add the ending. Okay, all right, let's go over our high frequency words. All righty, ready? Another, say it with me, another, another, another day goes by, another, right? What's our next word? Do you know it? None, none, none. None.
none of us want to play outside in the rain. Well, maybe you want to play out in the rain. I wouldn't want to play in the rain. Instead, I would rather play inside instead of outside if it's raining. But if it's really nice out, of course, I'd like to play outside instead. And the last one, among, among. I found my pink pencil among all my crayons, among. Nice job. All righty, boys and girls. Let's get out our, here it is, whoopie doo, our packet. And mine is the original, so it looks a little bit different. It's on um, a different type of paper, but it's the same packet. All right, it says Tuesday, May 12th. Tuesday, May 12th. All right. It says we're going to add the endings. S, E, D, and I, and G to the words. Okie dokie. Don't know why it has an S. We didn't go over S's and it doesn't say that. Okay. It says hopes. All right. So we said Jean hopes to grow corn. So this is one that's a little trickier. Let me get out my... Um, marker hopes you're just going to add the s to you're not going to say goodbye to the magic e it stays there hopes this one is a little different i don't know why they had that hopes i guess it's, oh you know what it's review from earlier in the year hopes so you just add the um s you don't say goodbye to the e all right let's do the next one she plants seeds on the blank hill. So we have a slope and ing. So what do we need to do? We need to say bye-bye, E, and I add the I-N-G. So you're going to spell it S-L-O-P-I-N-G. Sloping. Sloping. Nice job. Next one. Jean blank for the plants and they have care and ed so we need to say it's going to be cared so say bye bye e and add the ed so it's going to be c a r and then we add our ed e d cared all right and i'm going to leave the last two for you to do gene blank the corn and it want it has taste and then ed so you remember you need to say bye bye e and then add the ed and then the last one says she is smiling so you need to say bye bye e and add the ing and i'm going to leave those two for you to do all right the next page is your high frequency words all right let's read these together among another instead mystery none and solve all right Read the words in the box, then pick one to finish each sentence and write it on the line. Okay. We will be detectives today. Blank of playing in the meadow. So we will be detectives today. Blank of playing in the meadow. Among of playing in the meadow? No. Another of playing in the meadow? No. Instead of playing in the meadow? Yes. Instead, we'll go on that line. Does it need to be capital? No, it does not. It is not the beginning of a sentence. So we will put instead on that line. All right, moving down to what will we find blank? A million clues. What will we find blank a million clues? Okay, so we can cross that out. What will we find among a million clues? That could be it. What will we find another a million clues? No, that doesn't make sense. What will we find mystery a million clues? No. What will we find none a million? No, that doesn't make sense. Or what will we find solve a million clues? No, it is among. So you'll write among. Among. Go to number three. We want to solve a, another, no, we want to solve a mystery. That makes sense. So you're writing mystery. 
mystery. All right, number four. Hey, can you blank the mystery of the missing food? Oh, forgot to cross the mystery on the top. Hey, can you blank the mystery of the missing food? Solve. Nice job. Solve. Solve. Alrighty. I'll read you the next one. Remember, this needs a capital letter because it's the beginning of a sentence. Blank of the clues are in the hall. Blank of the clues are in the hall. Another of the clues are in the hall or none of the clues are in the hall? None. Nice job. And the very last one. Hurry, here is a clue. And here is blank clue. Here is another clue. Nice job. Very nice job. And look, I wrote it neatly, so you should try to write it neatly too. Alrighty. And your next two pages are on pronouns. Pronouns. All right. Pronouns, me and I. The pronouns I and me take place of your name. Use I in the subject of a sentence. Use me as an action verb. Write, always, always write I with a capital letter. So I, is when it's by itself, it's always a capital I. Dot calls me. I talk to her. When you talk about yourself and another person, name yourself last. Dot, oh wait, no, Jabber and I talk on the phone. Dot calls Jabber and me. All right, write I or me to complete each sentence. So here's the number of first one. Blank see an acorn. Let's see. Is it I see an acorn? That makes sense. Or is it me see an acorn? That, that's silly. It's I, right? It doesn't sound right when you say me. And it's a capital. Right? Capital. All right. Number two. It gives blank an idea. It gives I an idea. Eh, that doesn't sound right. That sounds kind of funky. It gives me an idea. Me. So write that on the line. Go down to number three. Blank take the acorn home. Blank take the acorn home. Me take the acorn home? No. I take the acorn home. I. All right. Two more. Dot and blank paint it. Dot and I paint it or dot and me paint it. Dot and I. And the last one. C dot and blank hide the acorn. C dot and me hide the acorn. Awesome job. All right, on the last page, you will read the different sentences, boys and girls, and see which one makes sense. So you're going to figure out which pronoun makes sense. So it says, mark the letter of the word or words that complete each sentence. Number one, blank saw a squirrel. Dad and me, dad and I, or me. Dad and I, and you'll color in that bubble. All right, the next one. Blank found an acorn. Me found an acorn? No. Dad and me found an acorn, or I found an acorn? I found an acorn. All righty. I'm gonna leave the last three for you to do. All right, boys and girls, you are doing a fabulous job. I miss you so very much. Keep up the great work. All right, remember, wash your hands. All right, love you, bye.